Summer is around the corner and I thought we should make something nice and refreshing to drink. So today we're making pineapple mango lemonade. It is refreshing, crisp, easy to do, and oh so delicious. I'm also gonna show you how to pick out a pineapple. There's about, you know, just a few tips what to look for in case you don't know, and a mango. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef Joe. Today, I tried to make a pineapple smoothie without using pineapple. But my efforts were fruitless. All right, so I went to the store and I picked out two pineapples and these were the most ripe ones that I could find. Which, this was yesterday. And uh, so this is what I've got. This one, in my view, is a little more ripe. You can see it has more yellow, you know? And that's kind of what you want. You want a more yellow pineapple. This one is a little more green. And you know you can see that it's much darker green here. And the other thing you wanna look at is the scent. So you wanna give this a little whiff and see how it smells. This one smells pineapple-y. This one, not so much. Now supposedly the more ripe they are, the, more, the heavier they are. And this one feels pretty heavy. And this one feels pretty heavy as, as well, but this one is a little heavier. The last thing I look for is then I go ahead and I touch the pineapple. I kind of give it a little squeeze. There should be some give down here, you know? It shouldn't be rock solid. This has a little give. This could actually be a little more ripe, but it's, it's gonna have to do. This one is much more firm, much harder. So it's gonna take probably another couple days before this one, before I'll cut into it. Okay, so let's cut up this pineapple. I'll cut off the top end first, and then I'll cut off the bottom end. Just give it a nice little slice, and then we'll trim up the sides. So here's the thing when you're trimming up your pineapple. You want to trim off those eyes, but you don't want to trim off too much and waste the good stuff. So just trim a little bit, and then you can always go back and trim more if you need to. So now I'll cut our cylinder in half, and then in half again. And then I'll cut out the core. Don't throw away the core because you can save it, put it in the freezer, and use it in your smoothies. It's really good to eat. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just a little more fibrous, and it contains a lot of fiber. And it contains bromelain, which is really good for our digestion. Did you know that one pineapple plant will produce only one pineapple per season? So what I'm doing here is just cutting up the pineapple into chunks so that it can blend up easily in my blender. All right, so I'll just toss this into my blender until we're ready to mix it up. And I'm gonna put the whole pineapple in the blender. Okay, let's talk mangoes. Now, how do you pick one out? Well, the best thing you can do is look for a nice smooth skin and you want it to feel kind of like an avocado. It gives, but not too much. Now let's talk about how to cut this thing up. All right, you're gonna hold it on its end and you're gonna look at the, kind of the oval shape that you can see here, right? Right across there, that's where the seed lies. So I'm gonna cut about a half an inch to an inch on each side of the very center. Now, as you slice down, you might run into the seed. So all you have to do is kind of turn your knife and go around the seed till you go to the bottom and cut it off. Flip the mango around and do the same thing. You're gonna cut about a half an inch from the center line and you're just gonna follow the knife down and, and just so you go right along the seed. So I'm gonna tap here and you can hear the seed when I hit the knife on it. So I'm just gonna trim around the seed as best I can to get as much mango out as I can. Then I like to score these end pieces like I'm doing here with the knife and then I can just cut them off. Now these two big pieces I cut off are called cheeks. So you're gonna to wanna to score them with your knife. Don't try not to go through and cut the skin. Just, just cut the flesh in one direction, kind of like you're cutting an avocado and you're making chunks. And then you slice it in the other direction and then you can pop it in, you know, invert it so that the, each of those chunks is exposed. Then run your knife along the bottom of those chunks right next to the skin and the pieces come right out. We're gonna cut up the whole mango and put all of that in the blender with the whole pineapple. And then I'm gonna add one cup of water to this so it has some liquid to blend up. With the Vitamix, I'm gonna blend this for one minute on high speed. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and strain this because I want to get some of the pulp out of it. But if you don't mind pulp, you can leave it in. There's nothing wrong with that. But what I'm going to do here is I got a big bowl with a strainer and I'm just going to pour my juice right into it and let it just drain through. This process is a little bit slow going, but you can speed it up by taking a spatula and just stirring it in and that helps to push it through. And this is what was left over at the end. Now here's how we're going to sweeten up our lemonade. I'm using just some regular white sugar. Not too much here though, but just a little bit. I've got a cup of water and I'm using a half a cup of sugar. All we have to do is put this over medium heat and we'll stir it until the sugar dissolves completely and the water looks clear. Then I'll turn off the heat and let this cool. It must be time for chef joke number two. Why was the lemon depressed? because it lost all its zest. <laughs> now we're gonna add some fresh lemon juice to this. I've got uh, some organic lemons here and I'm gonna pop each half into my lemon press and I'll measure out about a cup of lemon juice. I'll pour the lemon juice into the pineapple juice and I'll add one cup of water. Now to sweeten this up, I'm going to use my simple sugar that I created earlier and you're going to need to taste it after you add some to see, you know, it all depends on how sweet your pineapple and your mango and even your lemons are. I ended up using all the simple sugar that I made. Then you're going to want to put your lemonade in a pitcher, that's what I did, and then you want to chill it really well before serving. When you're ready to serve this up, I would fill a glass full of ice cubes and then just fill it on up for a refreshing citrusy drink. Let's garnish up our glass with a little wheel of lemon. And I have these cute little toothpicks that are decorated and I'm gonna just spear a piece of pineapple and place it right in the drink. This lemonade is refreshing and thirst quenching, perfect for the summer days ahead. Now, if you need a nice little appetizer to go along with your lemonade, try my guacamole recipe. Click the link on the screen, it'll take you right to the recipe. So I hope you enjoyed today's lemonade recipe. If you did, let me know by smashing the old like button and leave me a comment, of course. I always love to hear from you. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe. Cheers.